quick pocket on Clo 3D. So let's start with the top pocket size. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that they are not linked. So let's start with moving link editing. Then the next thing you need to do is to add internal lines. So one, two, uh, three. Um, I think there's a middle side then depending on the way you want to um double click you get so the next thing we need to do is to duplicate this top okay control z sorry so that's all so the next thing we need to do is to duplicate this um pattern so you can click on this or click on a for shortcut then you can do control c control v that's copy and paste it. so control v i've already copied it so just paste it so next thing is to click on only this pattern then you cut it so when you cut it delete the rest then what you need to do is to just you can either do free sewing or um segment sewing so where's the sewing to so this is free sewing so what i'll do in free sewing is i'll tap from here yeah 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 tap and hold on shift hold on shift then drag it here yeah yeah so like that so next thing let's go to the 3d window side click on q to activate the mouse this thing and tap on spacebar to stitch it and that's all so as you can see our pocket is set we are good to go so we can also do the same to udi's pocket those udi type of pocket so um what we need to do is to um tap on the same internal line so we can always drag it like this i'm coming let's start with this like this one two let me see i don't see so we can do like this same thing with same method so we'll do like that then move sorry that's too much i think i made a mistake so let's do it again one the link the editing would have been better for this or oh, i've cancelled that so like this like this then we can do like this like this then double click then we are good to go so we can just add the call by pressing c or coming um yeah, i'm sorry or coming here to press the call from but let me just add the call so i'm tapping here let me just do something like this same thing but it might not be perfect so it's just there so what we'll do next is also to do the same thing so we'll copy and paste it by pressing ctrl c ctrl v like that then we'll tap on only this then cut then we are deleting the rest again then you can do your free sewing as usual so you can click on m as free sewing so like this like this then hold on shift then you hold on this as you can see then let's bring our clothes closer press q in the 3d um the port in 3d side so and click on hey oh damn actually stitch the pocket i think segment will be better for this so what i would do is to press b and delete sewing i want to stitch the pocket so delete sewing so let me just first simulate the bottom so i press m back one two three four control z sorry one two three four then what is happening okay hold on shift then the upside we can do some segment sewing yes this to this then you can space bar sorry uh -huh. So our pocket is ready by the side, as you can see. So now we're going to move to the um, trouser pocket. So what I'll just do is to hide all this. So let me just hide this shirt. Let me hide this. So that you can see it clearly. So we press, um, I think, um, hide pattern. So let's sew a pocket for the trouser. So the first thing to do is to draw an internal line. So 
tap on and depending on the size of your pocket hold on control click left click then left click twice so that is it then click on z or edit pattern which is um this so then what we need to do is to cut it i'm going to cut it then tap on e to drag it out the next thing we need to do is to create an offset pattern outline so you can click on z tap on the line to create an offset pattern then this is it here so it's on 60 so you might see it on five so i just see to how um how you want it to extend it to i make sure you switch it from perp perpendicular to extend here so then you click on ok so the next thing we need to do is to do a free sewing so we click on m for free sewing or you can click on free sewing here so click on m for free sewing sorry yes then tap on this line then a blue line a blue marker will appear same thing here so you do the same thing here free sewing and this so what we need to do is to adjust the layer of both sides so this is it we'll put it minus one so that this pocket outline can enter inside so this is what we we'll do so click on a tap on this and tap on the other one then look for layer here so this is layer here minus one enter then space bar to simulate so as you can see then you can change it back to one or oh, sorry zero so zero and this is it the pocket is ready simulate sorry let's drag it out as you can see the pocket is ready so this is it so if you have any question about this video just don't forget to leave a comment and thank you for watching this video like subscribe and share for more video like this